Good evening and thanks for joining us. About $28,000 worth of drugs are off city streets after police pulled over a city cab driver yesterday morning. Lloydminster RCMP found 285 grams of cocaine and an undisclosed amount of money. 34-year-old Mohammed Katana of Lloydminster is charged with possession of property obtained by crime and for the purpose of trafficking. He was released and will appear in Lloydminster, Alberta Provincial Court on Tuesday. Well, it's a topic that's continuing to come to light in our country and around the world. Mental health. Lake Lime College is offering its first massive open online course on an introduction to mental health for free. Officials say they're hoping to reach out to the working professional. Um, sometimes it's not possible for people to leave their communities or their jobs in order to be able to take um, courses. And so this was a way of reaching out to those um, people that are already working in the field but would like to continue to learn. The three-credit pilot course will go into a certificate. It will be going on September 15th and run to November 21st. Now, for more information on the program, visit lakelandcollege.ca slash mooc. It's a craze that's seen all across the country. Shows like Iron Chef, Cake Boss, and many more making cooking a competitive sport. And for the first time ever, it's offered in our backyards. Here in Lloydminster, a grill master competition was underway this afternoon. And as Anakin Offe reports, the stakes were high. With precision and skill, the meat is basted. The competitors are taking it seriously watching their precious meat all afternoon. Presentation is what I am going for and tenderness and our smiles. <laughs> Molly loves watching cooking shows and was delighted at the chance to take part in something like this. It is actually popular. So many people now watch those grill master, pit master, different things on TV, the barbecue shows and so just lots of interest and we thought we'd create one in Lloyd. And the nine contestants have to cook the same three meats in any style they want. We are doing an eight pound pork loin that we're smoking away. Um, we've got some ribs on the on the barbecue and we got some brisket. Well we're hoping that we didn't over smoke it and keep it nice and juicy yet so not not cooking it too early. Each contestant are you know they've got their own magic that they're doing with their with their meat so now judges say that the taste of the meat is obviously a big factor in who will win but they say there's three criteria that will decide the winner presentation for how the meat is presented to us the look of it does it look well done is there any part of it that's maybe a little bit too well done taste tenderness and presentations and the grand prize thirty five hundred dollar yoder smoker uh, smoker barbecue which we have on display here Anna Knopf 8, Newcap News. The Canadian military and the Air Force have a tough job to do as they defend our country. Between their tour of duties in Afghanistan, Iraq and all over the world, it's always nice to have something to do in their off time. And that's where the so-called world's beautiful game comes into play. Fraser Snowden has more. We, we don't see it as expert work by any means. We see it as a perk, in fact. So it's kind of a bonus for us to be able to come out here and rush and take time off work and getting paid to play soccer. The Canadian Armed Forces have soccer teams all across Canada. This week, it's their regional championships. Janik Vinson is an aircraft technician on Fort Wayne and says there are a lot of skills he can transfer from the battlefield to the pitch. It's always a team that we're going to we fix aircraft, so always and it's a team that's different units, different strength. So this is what you got to take from the field to the, uh, the work. Men's and women's teams will battle on the pitch for the regional title in the hopes of going head-to-head -head in the Nationals in September. Matt Strong, who normally works as the public affairs officer on Fort Wayne, says the experience they get here is very unique. Overcoming adversity and perseverance. Uh, uh, when you're down a goal, you want to come back from that, and uh, and, so, and you're faced with a lot of challenges in your day-to-day -day job. And a lot of these these members are they have various challenges. They come from a variety of backgrounds. Even though they fight for the ball, players remember they are playing their teammates. We're all one team. Like yes, we are representing different bases at the moment, but we're all part of the Canadian Forces. All the way back. In Cold Lake, Fraser Snowden, Newcap News.